Hi everybody, this is Maria Dolan, Marketing Director for Harbor Crossings. We are located in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. We are a land lease community and today we're going to take a look at this um, under construction three bedroom home that is located at 20 Lewis Avenue. So this house is what is euphemistically called a double wide and in the business uh, a multi-section. It's two portions that were put together. There are two parts to the house that arrived in two different trucks and we have a lot of work to do to make the house uh, ready for tours and ready for someone to purchase. Right now we're working on the concrete. There's a driveway on this side and one um, on the side of the house. There's a concrete patio. Here you see all the pier support system underneath the house. This is a unique Dolan Homes feature is our um, foundation system. There's the concrete slab and then the piers and then the concrete um, steel straps that hold the whole house down. Today we're going to go in through the back door because the front door hasn't been constructed yet, the steps I should say. So we're going in through the laundry room and this is um, set up for the buyer to purchase their own washer and dryer. It's a 100 amp service and here everything's labeled just like a regular house. I always crack up when people call these trailers because um, it's a construction code difference. Here's the furnace. This is all national brain brand names, the Miller uh, furnace. So this house was put on the lot and you notice that those panels weren't in place yet. So um, that'll all be repaired. This is where the hot water heater is behind this panel. Now we're entering into the kitchen. This is a stupendous kitchen. It's huge and um, it's white. Uh, cabinetry and uh, laminate countertop. This countertop is called Bronzite and it goes really well with the stainless steel appliances. There's your window over the sink. You've got a microwave and a stove and this um, awesome little island with bookcases on either side and electric right there. So um, this is a great feature. You can put bar stools on either side really lovely really stands out so there you have the refrigerator in the corner and then the utility door to go to the back door the way this house was made um, there's uh, it was a great feature made by the manufacturer where everything was included so the way that they are able to do that makes the price much less. So this house in particular, we weren't able to pick certain things. So um, there's vinyl flooring on one side of the house and then carpeting on the other side. Um, when the two halves come together, then we have our um, Mennonite team come out. There's five brothers and then they put together the two halves, what we call the marriage wall. Here you have the dining area over to the side of the kitchen. There's your marriage wall. And um, when the house arrives, there's a lot of things that are left in the house. All this trim work and bags of concrete and paint. And you'll see in the corner is the fan, the paddles for the um, light fixture. Typically, all of the, um, the house is set up so that it's able to drive on the highway at 60 miles per hour. It's a great front door. Here's the view outside. Back where that red truck is, there'll be three new houses being built there and they're all two bedrooms. In the past, we never really showed um, this messy look of the construction, um, but I've kind of asked my husband to let me do this so I could get a buzz going and people see the finished product. There's been some houses where I've done 16 videos, one each week. Um, actually, that's more than that because it wasn't 16 weeks, but I did um, more often as 
the progress was going so that people could see how we do this. So here that on the ground is the sliding doors for the master bath and when it, the house travels it's placed on this carpeting in a safe location. So that still has to be done. And the doors are covered with plastic to protect them during the drive. And we'll take all that off and vacuum and make it all spick and span. So here's the closet for one of the smaller bedrooms. This house is uh, all drywall. It's really, this is another reason that this package was such a great buy because if we had to um, have chosen the full drywall, it would have been much more expensive. So when the manufacturer comes up with this series of all-inclusive um, options, we really jump on it to try and keep the cost down for our buyers. And this is uh, another bedroom. And then again, that's the closet there. Great windows. Those are thermal pane windows. So this is a very energy efficient home. There's the closet. Now this house is a little interesting. Um, oops, let's go in the bathroom first. So here's the hall bath for the bedrooms on the end. Again, the electric's not on, the water's not on, the sewer's not on, we have to do all that. So this is considered um, a den. This is, uh, room does not have a closet, so it's not a, not a bedroom, and it's on the end. It's in a great sunny location, and this is a great little TV room or sewing room or craft room or uh, great playroom for the kids or whatever, but this little addition is a option that, uh, again, we wouldn't have been able to choose for the expense, but um, the manufacturer included it. Here's a view of the kitchen again. So you're seeing our website there at the bottom. That's where you first start the intake process. So go to myhomeinharborcrossings.com if you're eager to know more about the process and what homes we have available. Now we're in the master bedroom. It's on the far end of the house. Um, it's a great design for privacy and it's got its own bathroom. And this is the master bath and it's a shower. You've got um, your commode, your sink, and then behind the door is a walk-in closet. It's really awesome. So I will be doing other videos as the house gets um, put together in a better way. And the final videos will be of the landscaping and it'll be really pretty. I think we have so many videos now that everybody really has come to understand what our standard is, what we call the Dolan Home Standard, and our um, level of expertise and our level of um, our work ethic, our um, pride in making things beautiful and doing it the right way from the very beginning. And now we're going to run through a series of photographs. Um, this house has the vinyl blue um, siding with the blue shutters. And again, the thermal pane windows. Now there's th three different warranties that come with the house. There's the 30 day cosmetic warranty. None of the warranties begin until the purchaser actually um, moves into the house or the day of the closing. Um, there's the 30 day cosmetic, the one year warranty, and then we purchased a year two through seven. It's called the Champion Seven. So uh, it's only a $50 deductible and everything else is covered after that. Uh, I always send this to the buyers um, so that they know what the warranties are. Um, this is how the house comes with all the paperwork there and there's a peer print explaining where the electric is. 
Now, I should have put that little screen back in the window above the kitchen, but I did just take it exactly as how I first walked into the house. Um, subsequent videos, you'll see how everything gets cleaned up and put in place. Again, it's really a very lovely, bright, um, sunny kitchen, great bedrooms. Our community has a lease that we abide by and it um, has a couple of things that we always have to point out to people. The maximum allowed vehicles is two. Um, we're short on space and so any homeowners with luxury vehicles or antique vehicles or campers or anything like that has to be stored in a storage facility, not in the community. I always provide the lease on the website and um, in subsequent emails to anyone who's interested in purchasing so that everybody knows what the restrictions are in the lease. I've done a new um, link on the website explaining financing. I get a lot of people who think that a regular bank, a traditional bank, is the kind of financing that would apply to this type of housing and unfortunately it is not. Uh, because you do not own the land, many banks will not provide loans for a manufactured home in a land lease community. There are loans that are provided for manufactured homes when the person owns the land in other locations, but in a land lease community, traditional banks do not. So I have a new link on the website explaining that uh, as best I can because um, that's probably one of the most uh, common uh, misconceptions. I get people who want a VH um, veterans loan or an FHA loan and none of those will provide loans when you don't own the land that the house sits on. So we are Dolan Homes. Robert Dolan is got all the licenses. He's my husband and there's myself, our son on the far left and our nephew in the middle. Our son does all the ordering. Um, he's an architect by training and our nephew does all the construction and I do all the marketing and sales and my husband masterminds the whole thing. So there's the three of them all together building one house at a time. And here is our awesome crew, our driver, Ron, and uh, Conception Raul, and here's Tom and Joe. And um, they work in Harbor Crossings, and here's Conception, and here's Raul, and they do most of the construction, and they'll um, come down to Harbor Crossings on a regular basis to do all the concrete work and um, help out. So we're a great team and here is our community. We've been in existence since 1974. We're Harbor Crossings at the crossroads of the Black Horse Turnpike and the Parkway. Really conveniently located. Here is one of our homes and the quality of our homes and the landscaping. We love and pride ourselves on helping the American dream of home ownership possible. Here's my husband and myself. Here's our office. We see everybody by appointment only, and we're very accessible 24 seven by email. And um, when you call, it'll tell you to send an email, which is the fastest way to reach us, as sometimes we're not working on location. We have staff on location at all times, but um, to reach us, it's best to do it through email and again to go to the website. So here's a little bit more about our location, where we're located, right between the, we're right near the ocean and 15 minutes from the beaches. Here we are on Google Maps, really close to Atlantic City Airport, where um, this area here is about to be developed by the town 
and they're about to redo sidewalks and make it much more accessible and user-friendly. So we're very excited to be in the heart of that new renovation. So go to the website. That's how we start.